Hey everyone, it's Presley at actjokegames.com here, and today I'm going to be opening my first Spangler Science Club experiment of the month. It's basically Loot Crate with Science, and I'm excited. guide and we got all the stuff we needed for the experiments based off of the instructions in here and I really like this because this gives me um, the feel of an old science dinosaur book I had there um, it wasn't really a science book it's like did you know that chickens are really distant relatives of dinosaurs and then it had like really fun puzzles where it was like this dinosaur track is a and this dinosaur egg is B, and so on and so on, and you would find secret messages and stuff, but it gives me kind of the feel of it, um, where with the one couple of experiments that were actually in there, it would show you um, the instructions of the experiment, but it would not tell you what happened, and then on the back of the page, it would be, it would ask, it would ask you questions like, what is a tube made of, what is special about this tube, and so on, and so on, and then you, and then, you can after if in the parents guide it has a lot of the answers so um if you need an answer and if you're really stuck and you're not sure if your answer is right but it uses scientific method which is you make a hypothesis and uh, you make a hypothesis and then you test it and if your hypothesis is wrong then you do more tests to see why so i like using the scientific me method and i'm definitely excited to do some of these experiments so this kit has a lot to do with colors and color mixing and such. So first we're going to do some of the basic color mixing just to show you what the kit is all about. And there's a secret about these test tubes and I'm not going to spoil that for you. Um, instead I'm going to wait until you get this kit and let you, and let you find out. But it's really amazing and it's, it's a pretty cool thing to know. For the first experiment, the first step is to fill up some of these test tubes with water, so I'm going to do that. And probably if it fails, it's like that. Plus, bonus points for the actually, the actually easy to pour out of cup thing, so I don't get water everywhere and then ruin all the experiments. So, one of the points that Steve Spangler really stresses in the parent's guide is, let the kids do the experiments. Even if you mess up or make mistakes, it's part of the learning experiment. He wants us to be really, really hands-on. So let, if your parent's watching to see if this stuff is good and if you want to start getting this, then let the kids do it. You might want to play with this after, but wait until we're done, okay? So next we're going to put a yellow and a blue fizzer into the test tube. Okay, we've got quite a few colors, but here's a yellow one and a blue one. Okay, so we've got the yellow and the blue ones, so let's drop them in and see and see what happens. By the way, I love the fizzer things. So, what, the first experiment is to cross these two, this yellow tube and this blue tube, to see what color or they make. But first, before I do the whole experiment, I'm going to write down my hypothesis. It's a really important part of the scientific method because you're testing a hypothesis. So, you have to write down your hypothesis so you don't be like, oh yeah, that's what I thought happened all along, even though it wasn't, which I've had people do to me um, at class before. I was at science class and people, and um, he didn't, and he forgot to write down his hypothesis and he's just, and he's like, oh, that's what I thought would happen all along. So my hypothesis is this going is the colors are gonna mix together and make a greenish color. So let's test it. Okay, so when it's pointing to the light, it makes this nice kind of lightish, darkish greenish. Like you wouldn't say a light green. It's a bit of a dark green, but it's a normal green color. But when it's not, what I noticed is when it's not facing the light, it doesn't make green. It just makes a weird murky blacky color. So, um, if I do it the other way, yeah. It makes a weird murky color, so point it towards the light. Not towards the shadows, because it will not work if you point it towards the shadows. It'll just make a murky color. So while I was doing this, I had another hypothesis. I wonder if the green would be lighter if the yellow is, in is closer to my face than the blue, or it's darker if the blue is closer to my face than the yellow. So let's see what happens. So here's the yellow, it makes a nice, the nice lightish darkish green and here's the blue and they look pretty much the same to me 
so I'm so those look the same so that's pretty interesting um that it wasn't lighter if the yellow was closer than the blue which I I honestly thought would happen but it didn't so there's no embarrassment in having your hypothesis be wrong so the next experiment that you would do is drop a red one in the third tube and see and do the same thing we just did but with three colors and I know the and you might be confused which one's the red one when you get the kit it's the dark purple one doesn't really make too much sense but this is the red one so we're not gonna do this one um, I'm gonna leave it for you to find out when you get your kit so tell me what happens when you do it so the next experiment is to fill up these tiny cups which came with the kit three-fourths of the way up with water and then put in the fizzy tablets to get the red yellow and blue and then we're going to actually mix the liquids in here instead of just mixing them with the light and putting the two test tubes together. So maybe it'll do something different. Maybe it'll maybe it'll do the same thing. My hypothesis is that the colors might be a bit darker because the light because the light might be a little bit of a because the light is kind of a whitish color because it's all the colors mixing together to become white. So it might be a little bit darker when it's mixed in here, but I don't think it's like gonna be black darker but still a little bit darker so let's try this out it's interesting the fizzies are moving around the cup so what we're going to do now that all of our fizzies have stopped is we're going to take little drops of each of the colors with our three pipettes that came in the kit so we're going to practice mixing the colors in here and see what happens differently than with the light. Um, so you could use two, three, or even one color and mix it and changing and maybe you can put one with just red, then red with a little bit of blue, then red with um, a lot of blue, and then red with a little bit of yellow and red with a lot of yellow. So that could be interesting, um, seeing how that works. So we have 24 different places, so let's see how many different color combinations I can make. So what I learned by building these colors is it takes only a tiny bit of the dark color to make the light color darker, but it takes a whole lot of the light color to make the dark color lighter, which is pretty interesting. So this is the grand finale, and it looks absolutely amazing. It's just wonderful, and they look a lot like lava lamps, which I've been wanting forever. But I'm not going to show you how to make this one. I'm going to wait for you to get your kit and make this and make this one for yourself. Just wanted to show you how cool this one looked. So the weird thing is in the instructions, it says six colors. So it has red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But in this, but in the kit, there's only five tubes. So some of the tubes and some of the stands in the instructions are blue and have six, but our stand and some of the other stands in the instructions are red and have five, which is really interesting. It's really the only glitch we found in this thing, but it's pretty interesting and weird how that happened. So I am so happy to be a part of Sea Spangler Science Club because you get these amazing kits every month. It's Science Loot Crate, and I love it. They're so cool, and I am already super excited for next month. I just can't wait. And the good thing about City Spangler Science Club is not only do they have cool experiments, but they really explain to you how they work and how you do them and what's going on. And so, like, this one is really interesting and it tells you, like, almost everything about how it works. So I know, like, how this works, why it's bubbling, why the bubbles look cool like this, why it looks like a lava lamp. It's amazing how they have cool experiments and it teaches you how to do them and you get to do them yourself instead of just watching someone do them on YouTube. And it's so cool watching them do them on YouTube, but you don't get to do it yourself. You don't get to feel proud about what you've made. So Sea Finger Science Club lets you make them, lets you know about what they're doing, and they just are absolutely amazing experiments. So I love it. So thank you so much, Sea Spangler, for letting us be a part of Sea Spangler Science Club, and I love it. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Dang, this thing is so cool.